to Jordan. The chip kick ahead now. The searing pace of Will Jordan. Jordan. He keeps racking them up, this kid. And they bring Jordan in from the wing. Little dummy, he's in. Again. This time it's Jordan, just on his own side of halfway. Been really good. Will Jordan. Now he tries to do it himself. If it sits up, it does. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, the life of an all-black Washington Carter for now in Rome. Will Jordan joins us on the breakdown. Thanks for joining us, Will. I'm going to start with a very difficult question. Being an all-black sometimes is difficult. It is challenging. You missed an opportunity to play against the Springboks in the second test in the Rugby Championship. How did you respond from that and what has happened over these last two test matches for you in terms of your performance? Yeah, I think looking back to um, the end of the Rugby Championship, uh, I guess myself and probably Foz as well was a bit disappointed with how I played in that first test. So um, as a result of that, sort of missed out on the second second test there and I guess had a good opportunity over the last three or four weeks with a bit of a break after that championship to go on and work on a few things in my game. And um, yeah, I was able to get an opportunity against the US and Wales over the last couple of weeks and um, just trying to keep building on, on those things. I was... Uh, working on and things I was doing well as well. Well, mate, as Earl Curtin would say, you've got gas. <laughs> but what did you actually do? He doesn't do? know who Earl Curtin is, do you? <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, great man. Great, great man. man. A great, great man. man. Great man. Um, but what did you do, the hundy in, mate, when you're... Because obviously you've got a lot of speed and you're using it to your advantage. Did, did you do sprinting and stuff when you are growing up? Um, not really, to be fair. I think, like, I was sort of more in, in my summers playing cricket and that, and I think these days, your yeah, sprint testing's more probably over sort of 10 metres or or 40 metres for um, in the rugby environment. So I haven't actually done a sort of full 100 for probably four or five years, so um, not too sure I'll be clocking in it, unfortunately. I'll speculate. Come on, give us a number. What do you reckon? Just sub-11? Is that what you're thinking? Oh, sub-10? No. Honestly, not sure. Like I, like I say, I haven't really done one for a while. Um, yeah, I know it's something that I'd be keen to do one at some point just to see what it would be, but, yeah, I honestly couldn't tell you. Well, I'm, I'm interested to know, sort of, obviously on the field, you're absolutely amazing, but off the field, this is a different experience for you, being on, on tour, being in Cardiff, uh, obviously getting, getting the bus to the stadium and, and, you know, at crawling rates, you know, with the horses in front of you, and also being at the stadium in front of 70-odd thousand people. I mean, how have you found that experience, and has it sort of aided in terms of the excitement that you want to be back out there week in, week out in the starting 15? Yeah, I think definitely um, it was a pretty special night um, on Saturday in Cardiff, just experiencing that sort of Northern Hemisphere atmosphere for the first time. You know, like you say, the horses, um, you know, down to the ground and just a huge number of people um, down there supporting their team and just how vocal they can be. So um, certainly when I ran out for the warm-up um, on Saturday, I thought it was going to be a pretty special night um, and it definitely proved to be so just with all the Welsh singing and, uh, the chanting and whatnot. So um, definitely after getting a taste of that, it does uh, you spur you on to want to be in that team every week and um, be out on the pitch experiencing it. For, for the viewers of the home, a turtle is not your abs, although ours has actually rolled over, our turtle's rolled over. Uh, the turtle that you have to use, well, is the high ball stuff. It's been exceptional for you lately. I know there was a couple of um, knock-ons the other day, but your competitiveness in the air is, is incredible. You've been doing a lot of work on the turtle, and is that something that, you know, Fozzie wanted you to work on? Um, yeah, I guess starting with that South African series, uh, the back three started getting peppered with high balls pretty regu regularly, and we sort of knew coming up here that that was going to be the case again. So uh, the back three have been getting together and getting plenty of reps on the turtle, like you say, and I think for myself, like you say, it's just a real like competitive mindset in the air. Like you're probably not going to catch all of them, but um, trying to get as many as you can and just going up there, competing, trying to create a collision and win as many backs, probably the mindset. And um, yeah, it was frustrating to have those couple in the first half sort of slip away, but then a couple were stuck in the second half, which was nice as well. Uh, well, Mills talked about this uh, being on the road and being on tour and all those environments, but. 
it appears as though this group in particular is really enjoying their football. We've all been in situations where all of a sudden you can gather momentum. And yes, you've been long away from home for a long time, but has this group got tighter and tighter? And there is there a real element of fun in this group? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, there's been a lot of chat around how long we've been away for, but I think on field we're starting to see um, some really positive results from that, you know, just being in and around each other every day, um, you know, those connections continue to grow and little conversations that you can have just from being around each other, um, you know, go a long way towards building that synergy on the field. And I think we saw that on the weekend, particularly in that last 10 minutes, you know, there was some pretty um, special support play and some great tries that were scored. And I think that's just a byproduct of that. Um, and yeah, I guess just as a, as a whole, there's been a chat around this being a tour like no other. And I think the boys have done a, a great job of just embracing that and really enjoying one's company. There's been plenty of hotel time in amongst it. So whether it's, you know, playing cards or little games like that, it does, you know, continue to grow that, that team chemistry. Just lastly from me, as a group, obviously you get opportunities, but you're operating in a bubble right now. But will there still be a chance to catch some of the local landmarks in Rome? If there is a chance, what would you go and see first? Yeah, there's been sort of limited opportunities to get out and about. Um, you know, we saw some great things in Washington and I'm not sure the plans are for this week, but hopefully there'll be a bit of a bus tour or something organised um, around the landmarks. It's my first time in Rome. So, um, yeah, I think the Coliseum is probably one that's on everyone's list. So I know a few of the younger boys have been keen to get in behind Doc and see if they can organise a wee trip there. Mate, uh, look, you're talking 16 tries, 11 test matches. You're in great form. The team's playing outstanding rugby. It was a pleasure to watch in Cardiff. Thanks for joining us on The Breakdown. Have a great day. Have a great week, and we look forward to seeing you. Maybe in action on the weekend. You might get a weekend off, but if you do, you've thoroughly deserved it. Thanks for joining us on The Breakdown. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Well, to find the best player of the weekend, House Span Elite performer of the match, as voted by the fans. He wasn't even one of the three, and he was outstanding. Bowden Barrett, Adi Savia and Dalton Papa Ali'i. Bowden Barrett comprehensively winning with 70% of the vote. Adi Savia, though, is in this conversation every single time we put it up. And if I look at this, this competition we've got in terms of positions, but the first five position has been everlasting on this show. It will be everlasting as Lord Bowden Barrett and Richie Moanga are playing together. But Bowden was very good on the weekend, Mills. This conversation and this debate we keep having is it getting more and more tilted towards this man? Well, after the performance he had in the weekend, I think so. Last week, I thought he was actually still a uh, wee way away from his absolute best. This is glimpses of, 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 of him being, you know, the, the, well, the, uh, the, the best player the in the world, you know? Um, and it was a magical performance in terms of what he did, but also being back in, in control of the guys and how they sort of, you know, manage their play.